to another week of the 72 Pan Connector. With us this week, we have Bob. I'm out of coffee. Oh, Adam. <laughs> I don't have any coffee, but I'm sad about Tom being out of coffee. And Josh. I can relate. Hi. Um, coffee <laughs> note. <laughs> <laughs> coffee I have a coffee cup full of hot sauce. I liked it. Apparently. Hot nice. sauce. Yeah, you gonna drink it? it? Yeah, yeah. That was that was um this this week <laughs> postcast game is drink hot sauce. It's hot sauce. Oh, that's my favorite game. <laughs> nice. So was I mistaken? So we're all gonna great together. Time. We're gonna be drinking hot sauce together. It's gonna be great. Was Stick I around. mistaken, what, or was really? that Taco Bell hot sauce? That was Taco Bell hot sauce. That oh, let's see. What, okay, let's see what I have to say to you. You're buying. Oh, but I got this. Ah, yeah. <laughs> it's good. This broadcast is brought to you by Taco Bell. When you need the shits, we're there for you. Taco Bell. <laughs> I've never had issues with Taco Bell. Ever. Oh, so yeah, you're well, not I haven't it. really either, actually. Then you're never eating enough Taco Bell. Dude. No, it means no you idea. eat enough I mean, of it to be immune. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> We've grown a, a very strong resistance in our so gut. So <laughs> our diet, whenever we was in a band together, for any show, our diets were every weekend Taco Bell, Two cheesy double beef burritos each, at least. Back when they were eighty nine <laughs> cents a piece. Over the years, he's a developed ridiculous value. You powder. could get so full. <laughs> That's all we would do. Eighty nine cents a piece. We would eat those, those the good times, and then drink Monster and eat pull and peel Twizzlers. <laughs> <laughs> Only the pull and peel because regular ones suck, but the pull and peels are really good. I actually forgot. Pull I kind of like the Twizzlers were a thing. Now. Yeah. They're so Same. much bigger and denser and just... I'm not going to continue my words there. I'm stopping. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not going somebody, there. Somebody clip that. Somebody clip that. They were so big and so dense. Say it oh slow, my. Eric. Say it Next slow. Next I was about to say is about how much more satisfying it is to bite into those. But... Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. Anyway, fellas, oh, man. how's your guys' weeks going? Ah, uh, pretty good. Yeah, so not bad. So good. Short. I'm good with it. You're good How's your it? week been going? Yeah, you're, you're Eric. Yeah, um, you're the one that had a busy week, didn't you? Well, yeah, you've been slammed. Miserable. Artificial, artificially busy. <laughs> um, <laughs> was working on a little coding project that didn't need to be done this week, so I said fuck it, and I didn't but, work on it today because I needed some break. Yeah, you did, but, <laughs> but it'll be ready for next week. So yeah, it'll be it'll it's be not, good. It's not yeah. really waste even. Yeah. It's, but, gonna, it's not going to be wasted at all. And everyone's going to be super amped that you did it. And we'll say, Eric, did this thing. And you guys, you just be excited about it. And everyone's going to be excited about it. We'll, we'll, you'll be praised. Yes. Like the sun. <laughs> praised like the sun. Absolutely. Yes. Like Fuck the it. sun. I'm going to be praised like an Urk because Urk is a god. <laughs> okay. That's, that's how that goes. That's anyway. But no, the, week, <laughs> okay. the week's nice. been decent. Um. Tom helped me move some more shit earlier this week. It should be the last of anything of any weight. And even then, it wasn't that bad. I wasn't use like my Gorn strength. Gorn strength. <laughs> That's where it's at. He's been getting that workout in on the Vive, so. Oh. Damn right. Damn right. <laughs> so really, you guys haven't had anything happen this week? Uneventful completely? Really? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Nothing. Pretty much. Well, yeah. I, I mean, I only work three days this week, so it's just been gaming. Oh, that's <laughs> tough. Lucky bastard. Oh. Yeah, it's a rough week, you know. <laughs> really, really in it. <laughs> I actually had to go to work in office, I think, almost every day this week. So it was like, all. Oh. oh, no. So you had to go. Oh, no. You have to go to location every day. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, my baby. I take a train now, though, so because of that, oh, I get yeah. a place. And you didn't have to pay stuff. for gas to get there? Oh, man. Oh, so, wow. So actually, bad. okay, I haven't brought this <laughs> game up at all ever, but I've been playing Mini Metro. That fucking thing is Mini great Metro. for the bus, and it's fun as hell. I saw the Mini Metro. Mini, what is Mini Metro? It's 99 cents on the Play Store. It is a very simple uh, Metro uh, management. Like, you're connecting routes between different shapes. So there's a square. Hmm. All of a sudden, square has a circle and a triangle show up on it because there's one person wants to go to circle, one person wants to go to triangle. And you're just, okay. you're running the lines. And after every week, you get, okay, here's another train. Do you want another line or do you want another carriage? So it's just, it's really fun. It's simple. It's bite size. I think about five minutes. And it is how I've been spending all my time on the train. 
It gets so complicated, though. <laughs> like, it starts out really easy, and like easily you can picture that mental map, right? Oh, this kid just wants to go over here. But like mm. ten minutes into that game, and you have realized that you realize that you have fucked your entire city. That you need to level <laughs> everything and build it from the ground up. It's like that moment in Sim City when you realize, oh god, what have I done? Because you plan to have this like tiny little like square of utopia, and yeah. people want to expand beyond it, and you just didn't plan properly uh, <laughs> mini metro is that in a nutshell Sim i always City, do that, that up in the opposite way like i always like especially sim city like i'll i'll put like the power plant like 60 miles outside the border and then i have to I run out of money running power lines to the city yeah like like no this is this is for expansion but like i can't make any money and no one wants to live there so I, I lose I, immediately. <laughs> i actually do really well with that because i always force myself to build in grids literally like square mm. grids that's so a I, good idea i yeah. run the water directly underneath the roads and put the roads in a distance that the water pipes service every part of the square okay i'm, that's, I'm that's a freak bad. when it comes to sim city when it, that kind of stuff did you guys ever see the guy that did like the perfect sim city it was like oh this, it was so impressive it was so pretty it was like when it was done you look at it and it's just like it's just like this perfect like it, it looks like a stained glass window. You're like, what is this? <laughs> yeah. So I'm got the guy actually, up. oh, it's amazing. The guy went through, because the SimCity, the original SimCity source code is open now, so you can check it out. He went through and made um, a perfection mathematical formula. So literally everything he placed was in mathematical harmony with the tiles around it and surrounding it. Uh, so at the end, it, it w looked really fucked up in some places but it was perfectly mathematically balanced super impressive <laughs> yeah it looked amazing like especially when he did the zoom out picture oh my god it looks so cool hmm. i'm sitting yeah well, well was, since were... you've been playing mini metro which sounds a lot like that i mean that's you gotta get you gotta does it get to that extent where you're no, like no 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 you no. have to get down to, or is it more of like a puzzle game it's it's an optimization game because okay. what happens yeah. is they'll put 10 circles right next to each other. And if you just keep connecting circles, your buses will fill up, picking everyone up and never drop them off because they're all coming from circles and the next stops a circle and the next stops a circle. So oh, okay. it's a weird optimization thing where you actually have to go a further distance to make it run better. Oh, okay. Interesting. So yeah, that's, it's really, really weird. Um, but other than that, it's, it's really fun. It's bite size. And I almost picked up don't starve everyone else. If you've never done it, yeah. don't, don't starve is 99 cents on the play store. Really? Damn. That's awesome. Oh, oh, I didn't mobile know there was game. a mobile version. Yeah, That's so I. cool. I'm not sure how it would work, but throwing it out there. Cause I, I know most of us here, I don't know if Josh has ever played it. Love that game. I played don't starve. I love that game. Okay. Wait, in that case, my, all of us love that I liked, game. Yeah. yeah. I like, yeah, I like the multiplayer. I didn't like the single player. Yes. Yeah, the, we, I only played together. the single player. Don't start together. It's played... great. Whitney played it. More I have than never played it. We should play it. It's fun. We should. Totally we probably should. should. It's, it's, yeah, yeah, it's we fun, could, stylized. Yeah, good. We can all do it together. It'd be great. Yeah. Be good okay. yeah. That. Um, but other than that, um, one of the days I got home and instantly jumped into the 12 Days of Christmas stream. Ah, uh, yeah. Ooh. That one, Josh got me this War of Mine, which I was familiar with the game. I've never played it. Um, I'm really good at that game because I'm not afraid to make the <laughs> no, hard decisions. No, you don't. Jesus, fucking <laughs> Jesus Christ, Eric. Good God. I no, make so, difficult decisions was... that no one else is willing to do. You punch an old couple to death after they said, please, <laughs> we don't have much. Please don't hurt us. And, and they were you lying. Punched an, you punched an old dude in the face, killing him. And then his wife came up to you and she said, oh my God, you monster. What did you do? So you punch her in the face to death. Nope. No, 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 no,
<laughs> I knew. You knew. <laughs> yeah, this is fishy. And this guy's the, acting a little too started, concerned about his wife's well-being. <laughs> his wife started going all crazy on me, so I just wanted to punch her once to calm her down, but then she fell down some steps. Oh, and that's so, so now we, oh, just now happened we know. to fall down those steps. Yeah, so now we know how Irk calms people down. He just gives them one good, solid punch to the face. <laughs> if you knock okay, someone right. out, they're calmed down. My favorite part about that stream is you did this horrific thing. We're all in another chat, just like losing our minds. Oh my god! And the rest, nice. and the forty-five minutes from that point on, you were rationalizing what you did. <laughs> you justify your monstrous actions the entire rest of the stream. So wait, um, Eric, Eric. So <laughs> seeing how this is like, this was obviously the right course of action, and you're you're making the hard decisions. How did it all turn out? How did your how did your how well, did your guys that turn decision out? I was great on. What killed me <laughs> is I didn't understand the mechanics of the rest of the game and nah. I was canceling <laughs> actions left and right. I wasn't building the right things in progression. So for those of you who don't know, it's a run-based survival game, psychological game. It's kind of cool. Um but yeah, other than that, all my decisions were terrible and I failed miserably. I had someone get commit suicide. I had that was because by of soldiers. that decision. Yeah, <laughs> that because was he made a dude because... kill two old people with no, his no, no, bare no. hands, and then the guy hung himself. He hung himself because his best <laughs> friend at home was dead. She died, and that's why that's he killed himself. That's not why. He could he not go on anymore way without her. <laughs> dude, you totally depressed him to death. He was well, a you good know what? man. Go for it. He, <laughs> he isn't strong enough dude. to live in this world. <laughs> anyway. Wow. So I I'm, wish I would have seen this on this. Oh show. my it's it's a VOD. Honestly, if yeah, anybody check out if VOD. anybody has time, watch that VOD. It was amazing. Eric's a psychopath. It's a really great <laughs> it's well, a great watch. I'm a psychopath. It's it was so, fantastic. Like he's this, not a psychopath. This, this VOD will be on a future Netflix series. It's gonna be like to make a murderer two, but it's actually <laughs> gonna be a murderer instead of a dude getting framed. It'll just be Ark <laughs> killing old people. <laughs> <laughs> it'll start with this VOD and then it'll move into like the strangler, a uh, mystery strangler at nursing homes. Like, <laughs> dude, I can't wait. It's gonna yes. be good. It's gonna be good. Buckle up. Enjoy. Just going through. I'm like, hold on. There's meds in here. They're hoarding it from everyone else. They must pay. <laughs> <laughs> that but, is that is chaotic, chaotic. What is it? Lawful chaotic or some shit like that? Yeah, no, yeah. no yeah, it's, good. it's chaotic Lawful good. Chaotic, chaotic, chaotic good. Fuck laws. I do what I think's morally right. <laughs> You yeah, were chaotic yes. neutral, dude. You did whatever got you further ahead. No, that's chaotic evil. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, that's um, very much. Let's not get evil. into um, alignments. Um, other than that, I did a little bit of Rocket League um, status quo, and then um, Siege. I've been playing a lot of Siege. I know Adam's been playing a lot of Siege. Um, yes, I want to say two things about this community real quick. Um, one, playing without people in this game is a lot different than playing with people <laughs> this game is heavily reliant on communication and just them being in the discord with you helps that mm -hmm. said another thing about this community is everyone uses a fucking mic everyone <laughs> in this game has a mic and they're not so, afraid to tell you when you're doing something wrong <laughs> um i've I haven't come across a whole lot of bad manners there's some there, there's there's a, some mostly, really good ones. Actually, a lot of a lot of that was just in the text chat in game. They weren't actually yeah. speaking through the mics at each other that much. Yeah, the but worst bad manners. Really typing. The worst I mean, bad when, manners we've seen was our own teammates. Mm -hmm. which me is and awesome. uh, me and RS got into that too, and uh, just like he, RS just started his uh, his siege, and I've only played a few games, but in all of our games, no one used a mic. But really? oh, keep really? in mind that we're significantly Ooh. lower rank than you guys. Like, if it was just yeah. me and RS well, it no, wasn't me and like we're the, the, the rest of the, yeah, yeah. We're yeah. We haven't even been ranked yet. So we're like, isn't there a number next to your name? Like, oh, the level. Oh, that's yeah. just your level. That's from experience. right. That's my point. We just yeah, played yeah. more. Right. So exactly yeah, yeah. that's my point. Like, you that's have like a number the COD there. style levels. Oh, okay. So, so you're putting we've in some good time on that too, haven't you, Adam? Yeah, yeah. We've actually got a lot of people that play that now. This came out of nowhere. Me and Eric bought the game after the free weekend, and then all of a sudden, like half the people that are in our Discord already played it like a long time ago and are really good. <laughs> and then we picked up some people like the first, what, first couple, the day or two we played, we picked up like three or four other people 
and then now you guys all bought it. So now we've got, you know, you, Josh, uh, RS, sure. Bivens, uh, I think even Solar plays it. Yeah, and then we, yeah, now Solar we got, does play we got it. Souls and Cats. Yeah, it's, it's a really yeah, good Souls, community now yeah. for us. Yeah, BP but, has um, it. A bunch of people have it. Holy crap. Oh, wow. Dark Souls, Smokey, T Wolfen, lots of people. And our buddy, I had it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you did have it. <laughs> our buddy Toasty, uh, aka Whoops, aka Abnormal in the game. Yeah. So Eric posted this clip in the chat, and I think it deserves to be uh, a replay a little bit in discussion here. So uh, he's on our team. Obviously, he's he's way better than any of us. And we're playing, and it's down to a 1v1 situation, him and another guy. Uh, he ends up downing the other guy. He didn't kill him all the way, but he was down. So this works just like any other game. Uh, you know, they're bleeding on the ground, and then their teammate has to come pick them up. There was no other teammate, so this is basically the game is won. All he has to do is just finish him off, and it's over. But he doesn't just finish him off. <laughs> he, uh, he takes a moment. He uh, teabags repeatedly over top of the body in a circle. <laughs> as is custom yes. as is, but as then, it goes even better then, then he runs away he goes around the corner in front of a set of stairs I believe and he has a trap set down there it's kind of like a bear trap it's called the welcome mat and you know <laughs> somebody steps on it it clamps down hurts him whatever so he picks this up off the ground he goes back over to the other guy who's laying there bleeding <laughs> and he sets the welcome mat right in front of his feet backs up and the welcome mat slams down on the guy and finishes him <laughs> off. And that was the end of the game. It was so rude. And no one, else, rude. No one else in the savvy. game was alive except for those two people. So they're, all the yeah, teams yeah. were watching this unfold, unable to do anything. <laughs> so it, was, it was amazing. I loved it. <laughs> so good. <laughs> That's great. I love how like every game has its own little happy little BM that you can do. Yeah. <laughs> what a save. What a save. What yeah. a save. Wow. No shit. <laughs> yep. What else have you been doing there, Adam? Uh, just a, really mainly just a lot of siege. I'm God, I love that game. That's so good. <laughs> I've about got all the base operators unlocked finally. So that's that's a plus. Nice. Um other than that, Rug League, normal stuff. Doesn't need to be talked about. Nothing new there. Uh, and then last last week after the the podcast, we did GTA Five online. Oh yeah. Um, but the only thing we did when I played, I didn't play for very long. We did the races. Um, I've never played GTA online before. Um, so we did the races. To be honest, I wasn't really into it. I don't know. Everybody was having a really? great time, and that part that aspect of it was fun. But I just I didn't. It's a bit. Like it's a gameplay at all. It's a bit of the sideshow of it. Like yeah. a lot of people that play it now are playing all the other stuff. Uh, most mm -hmm. people like the, the really great stuff, like the heist. But like you can get everybody involved in a race. There's other things to do too that we mm -hmm. didn't do. Um, we, like last, I think the last time we did GTA, we did some of the shooting missions um, as a group. We did some of the uh, other racing missions. But they're, I mean, they're a blast. The, the reason we did this one in particular, these were the transform races. So like as you were as you were driving, you could drive your car down the road really fast, and then you hit a little uh, thing, and you turn into a plane, and you turn into this and that. That's brand yeah. new. So that was the main uh, the main focus of this one. But mm -hmm. there's a lot of other races, and actually we should probably play some of those. A lot of other things that you can do too, like shooting and yeah. whatnot. I think I'd like the heists and stuff. I just I'm not a big racing game fan to begin with. So I think oh just, yeah. So not there's only a, is it not meant to be a racing game. <laughs> I don't like racing games to begin with that much, so it just didn't capture yeah, me. But thing... it was fun just, just you know, talking and chat and oh yeah. It was still a good time, but I just didn't like the game. The part. thing that made this really different, because I've I've done a lot of races in GTA online. Um and they're they're okay, but I'm I'm with you, Adam. I'm not a racing game guy. Like Mario Kart, that's my jam. Anything else, fuck off. Um <laughs> <laughs> but that that needs to be Tom's tagline. Uh but um these were transform races. So you would hit these little circles on the track or in the sky, and it would transform you into a different vehicle. Um, like you'd be rocking like this badass sports car, and then you're on like some electric scooter, and then yeah. you're in like a fucking jet, and then you are like on a wave runner. Like it would it got ridiculous because the it basically used the entire map of GTA 5 uh to mm -hmm. make these races happen. And it's got weird custom shit. I enjoyed it. 
uh, way more than I thought I would. But it's mostly because of the the stupid little things that happen in Grand Theft Auto, like tapping someone's backside in a race, and then both of you spin out, fly off the track, and then explode. <laughs> <Right>. um, <laughs> and it's just fucking hilarious when you're all in a Discord, you know, yelling at each other because somebody's being a douchebag. Yeah, um, it was fantastic. That's, I mean, that's a hundred percent of GTA. Like playing it like competitively online like uh, not like there's a competitive scene but like you know playing it like uh, the pvp aspect of it is awful the shooting aspect is awful most of it's really bad because like ever like there's a lot of people that cheat and stuff but when you're playing with friends it's amazing every time without without fail like it, and gta to me is always the it's the master of nothing nothing it does is better than any other game there is a game right. that does every aspect of it better than it does it's how it pulls all of that shit, though. Yeah, it pulls it all off like mediocre, like really, yes. like a really solid. I, I would never version. say mediocre. Like I have played, I have played golf games that were worse than the the golf mini game inside of Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> right? Uh-huh. I, I have I have played pool simulation games that were worse than the pool in San Andreas. Um, I've played racing games that were shittier than the racing in GTA. No, no, no. Yeah. Shittier doesn't mean that it's good, though. No, and I, I'm not going to say it's yeah. it's great, but I think even the mini games, it, everything GTA does, um, I would say is above average. Right. So, right. I mean, what we we ended up doing other things. Like, there's other aspects of it, especially once you start like when you have a large group, it's really hard to get a lot of people involved. Um, and that's what we had. We had a bunch of people playing, and so there's a few games that work really well for that. But when you have a smaller group, like later on in the night things get a little bit more funny and a little bit more intimate. And so what we ended up doing is after, after the cast, after the postcast game, we all branched off. Uh, and then I came back after getting food, everyone was gone and I didn't put the stream up, unfortunately, because I'm the best streamer there ever, there ever was. <laughs> and we did, uh, we did heists. We did heists with me, Shemp, uh, RS and our friend Bivens. And it was the funniest thing I've ever experienced. So basically, there's one goal each heist. Um, there's like one thing you have to do, and then you move on to the next. Like the whole setup is like, what is it like five or six things you do to set up the heist? Then you do the heist, and it's over, right? Mm-hmm. So our job during this heist was to was to get a jet, uh, like a Harrier jet, right? Mm-hmm. And so we come in on like on a boat, which is which is just like filled with banter the whole way and then we finally get to the place and there's a shootout on this military vessel right like, like an aircraft carrier and we kill everyone super easy and then we get lost we have no idea where to go <laughs> so so we're like running around this empty vessel sirens are going off and we're just like where's the stairs and somehow we miraculously find our way to the to the top deck and we're sitting at the top deck and and, and uh, our friend Shemp jumps into the plane and takes off and and he and we're all flying because we all end up getting in a plane too and our goal is to kill all the guys in the sky right like 20 seconds in shimp runs in like physically runs into another jet and <laughs> nice he nice. proceeds to do this two more times <laughs> and then <laughs> and then shane shane comes in and he's like all right you know what guys i'm really good at flying this is what i'm this is what i'm made for i'm good at this i could I, i'm a master like all right you're master flying the flying. next one he he takes off, gets about two feet off the ground, and then slams as hard as you've ever seen anything slam into the deck of the ship and explodes. <laughs> and we fail immediately. <laughs> that is Good awesome. Job, everybody. So, Good teamwork. Good teamwork. So it yeah. builds up, and then at the very end, Shane, Shane finally gets it. We kill everybody, and we start to land, and Shane's pulling into the hangar, and it, everything is great. Like, everyone's good. He's pulling the hangar extra slow and careful. And then Shimp comes out of the sky and slams into the top of him and he explodes and we fail oh the whole thing over. And <laughs> so keep in mind that in GTA Heist, when you fail a mission, you have to start over from the beginning. No. So you start oh, over and you have to fuck do that. that. Right? So that is awesome. So so this so this is like at the end, we have to start all the way over from the beginning and we start over and we do it. And then this is the last time, the last time that we run this, and we're like, okay. So Shane pulls in, we land it, kill everybody. Everything's great. Pulls in slowly. I'm sit- parked behind him. Shimp's long ways away. Everything's fine. And he's pulling in extra slow. 
And RS comes and lands right next to him, slams him to the side, and it explodes, and we all F4. <laughs> 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 The best rage quit ever. Yeah, <laughs> I would. I would have rage quit too. <laughs> and I'm not even a rage quit kind of guy. Oh my god, it's so funny though. It was so funny. And Josh, I'm gonna jump in before you talk about your um, last game. But actually, you might <laughs> go a for siege. It. But I want to let everyone know tonight's postcast was originally gonna be Rocket League. Not this time. We're doing Jackbox Party Pack Four. So everyone knows it's a free game. You just jump on the stream, follow the instructions on the screen, stream, and just start playing with us. Jump in the you don't, need, you don't have to. You don't have to download the game or anything. There's just going to be a, a link to a website, and you put in the code so that you're in the same game that we are, and you can contribute right from a browser or your phone. I love that about Jackbox. Yeah, we were, I played two other games that do a similar thing. And you have to download an app, and it sucks. Jackbox is yeah. easy. It's a web. Yep. It's a web page. Yep, it, it's, it's amazing. Just it's do one it. of the few <laughs> times where having a web, an actual web page versus an app, is better. Absolutely. Yes. But anyway, that's all I wanted to say on that. Josh, I think you had at least one more thing. Yeah, um, one other thing I played this week was uh, my twelve games of Christmas gift from Tom, which was uh, One Finger Death Punch. And it's cool. Nice. Whoa. It, what is it? <laughs> it, 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 yeah, it is a. It's like a stick figure fighter. Uh, so like you're, you're like you're kind of like a like a master karate expert, and you're fighting all the other stick figure master karate experts, and uh-huh. you're just going back and forth and beating them all up. But um, the way you do it is when like you have your guy in the middle, and then once they get once a bad guy gets into your little zone, you press that direction like whether it be right click or left click, depending on what mm-hmm. side they're on, and you just got to kind of. It's kind of a rhythm game, <laughs> which is which is crazy because <laughs> yeah. that's my second rhythm game of this run, and it's they're great, and I like I like them. I actually don't play a lot of rhythm games. I don't play enough rhythm games really. It was, I was super. About to say, I remember watching you play the game I got you, and you mentioned that you don't really play with rhythm games so that you suck at them. I'm like, ah, crap. I do. Okay. Like, one, they can one have more. a horrible stream. And then Tom comes through and he's like, oh, what should I get Josh? Oh, I know. A rhythm game. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be Another perfect. Game. This will be great. So don't worry. You have one more gift coming, Josh. And I'm yeah. the asshole of the group. So Thumper. you probably Give know what's Thumper. coming. Oh my God. <laughs> great. I'm going to get another rhythm game. <laughs> I'm good with it. It's fine. It's just, uh, I, it, it's crazy. Like, like it, the same issue happened with me with the other game that happened with this one is after I got to a certain point, like my hands started hurting because I'm like, uh, I'm trying to hit it. Like once I go into like the, like, like all just, tense stuff, trying to just trying to hit it to the beat. And it's, it's mm-hmm. just like, there's so many actions that you have to hit, especially on one finger death punch. Cause it's like, you have like, not only do you have to hit the uh, like the right combination of left, right, like the first guys you hit, there's like one hit, right? So you right click once and they're dead. Um, mm-hmm. Other guys, you have to click multiple times and there's some of them that you click once and then they swap sides. So you have to like left click, right click, right click, you know, left, right, right, blah, blah, blah. And then you have to know that and you do that through the whole thing. And, and it's, it, it, it can be kind of a, kind of a pain, like uh, only be like a pain physically, not, like the game is fun physical physically pain. there's a pain like i you click and I, I don't know by the end of it i was like god damn it that's so hard you you had to end the stream because you said okay i physically i i like you you lifted up this deformed <laughs> yeah. claw of a hand and you said i physically can't do it anymore i'm going to the hospital <laughs> yeah, that's how it went that's great. Or maybe i'm doing it wrong merry maybe christmas we'll... josh <laughs> Here's here's carpal tunnel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I gave you a lifelong condition. Merry Christmas. It's good though, no, because the one okay, so so uh this one was my right hand and the one I think Adam got me was my left hand, so it's great. Okay. So <laughs> because and, you know but, WASD, you're even with your, your deformed claw hands. Right, yeah, now I'm just like a little raptor or something. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that that's pretty much all I've been playing. Those were uh those were mine. <laughs> So what nice. about you, Tom? Uh, I've actually got a, a whole lot of games this week, amazingly enough. Um, so I uh, played some Overwatch, Fortnite Battle Royale, Pavlov VR, basic stuff. Um, I want to talk about Gorn, though. So Gorn is this game I just bought on the Vive. Uh, it's a, a VR game where you are a, a dude in a coliseum, and it's your job to use various weapons 
to slaughter and murder the other guys in really fucked up and horrible ways. Um, so like you will get swords and boulders and maces and morning stars and uh, like the ball and chain thing. Um, it gets messed up. Uh, so at one point during my time in this game, I had knocked someone over with a morning star. He was on the ground and instead of like just hitting him a couple more times to kill him, I'm physically on my hands and knees in my living room. I pick up a rock, get over the guy, and just start bashing his face in with this virtual rock. And my wife walks in the room. She goes, what the fuck are you doing? And I said, I killed a man. I beat, I beat his face in with a rock. Um, no, I'm waiting on you to break your Vive controllers on the ground yeah. one day. Or I, love this, I love that stuff about VR. Like I've seen one of my buddies whenever I had a VR party. He got down the ground to do something, and then he saw a table in VR. So he goes to push his body weight off this table in VR, and you see him just plant himself into the ground. Yep. <laughs> oh my god, I have done that awesome. so many times. I like in in hot dogs, horseshoes, and hand grenades. I will go like lift something up, like my my gun or my controller in this case, and I'll go to mm -hmm. put it on the table in front of me and drop it, and it'll just like fall through. I was like, oh fuck. Or, or I'll try to get up, just like your buddy, and I will face plant. Oh my god! I'll fail at least once a week while I'm playing VR because it is just, <laughs> it's fucking immersive. Like that table's yeah. there, man. I should be able to lean on it. And it's just funny. You just make sure the mask isn't cracked. If it ain't cracked, you're laughing your ass off at him. Yeah, <laughs> it's great. Gorn was Gorn was super gnarly. I remember seeing a bunch of gifs of that. Is that the that's the same one where like that guy pulls that guy's head off, right? Like it's yes. pretty visceral. <laughs> yes. So it's. It's visceral, but it's not like a, a gross violence. Like think GTA so like Vice God City. of War. No, visceral? no, because it's it's not, not quite even that like no, no. It's it's cartoony. Like I can tear a man's arms off and beat him to death with his own arms. Um, but it's <laughs> Tarantino like, it's a type. It's a uh, cartoon blood and gore sort of thing. Imagine like Happy Tree Friends style blood and gore. Okay, right. Yeah. The best way I can I can put this. Also, That's good, a good uh, way to put it. Fucking love Happy yeah. Tree Friends. Happy Tree right? Friends. <laughs> Uh, I forgot so, about that. I did too, just until right now. Um, so this game, after 30 minutes of playing it, I am physically exhausted. The next day I wake up and my fucking arms hurt. My back hurts. Like It feels <laughs> like I've gone through an actual workout. So <laughs> yeah. what I've done uh, the past however long since I've had this game is I will come home and I will play at least 45 minutes of Gorn. Uh, I'm happy to say I've actually dropped a few pounds thanks to this game. Oh, wow. nice. nice. It's, it's the VR Gorn workout. I will come home. I will brutally murder some people. Uh, it turns out if you get enough rock kills, uh, they actually give you boulders. So now I've got giant boulders to smash people between. Um, it's fucking ridiculous. So Gorn, highly recommended. Um, I also played today. I took a first look, played about an hour of 20XX, um, which is a roguelike Mega Man game, uh, randomly generated platforming no question, enemies. Matt. No, no question mark there, man. No question yeah, mark. That is a Mega Man game. It, it's a Mega Man clone. Yeah, it is it absolutely looks, a Mega Man clone. So it looks. I I didn't look at any videos or the description, so I'm completely uninformed. But I did look at some screenshots, and it looked, <laughs> it looked like a cheap knockoff or something. Is it actually it is. good? Yes, yes, it, it is. Okay. Uh, it is good. So we'll, we'll, we'll see if it holds up, right? Because that's the whole idea yeah. behind a roguelike is it'll be randomized enough to keep me playing for, you know, a, a couple, you know, weeks or however long this game lasts. Um, a good roguelike will keep you going for months, man. That's true. That's true. I guess I guess I haven't gotten tired of Isaac yet. Um, is it like, yeah. like, does it feel like the level of Sonic Mania was to Sonic as this no. is to Mega Man? No, absolutely not. Um, it, this game feels like a really, really good clone of Mega Man X. Um, you've got a character that's basically Zero. You've got a character that's basically Mega Man. Uh, the, even, like, the intro of the fucking game is Mega Man 2. Like, to the words, the graphics, the music, all of it is Mega Man 2. Um, the music in the stages is okay. It's not amazing, uh, but, you know, it gets you in the mood. Um, it's fun. I like it so far. I could see myself really getting into this game. So... Yeah, we'll have to see where it goes from there. Uh, other than that, um, I did pick up Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. And by pick up, I mean I just downloaded it because it's, it's fucking free. Um, <laughs> I know this has... People were really afraid. I was really afraid because I fucking love Animal Crossing. It's one of my favorite games. 
um, and I didn't want it to get super mobile-fied and just nasty. And I'm I'm happy to report that it's not for the most part. Um, um for the most part, for the most part, um, I never feel like. I am forced to do in-app purchases. I can definitely play the game and get enough out of it that I, I don't need in-app purchases. And at least for... Uh, I've probably played, put about five hours into it so far. Um, at least for those first five hours, they give you enough of the uh, you know premium currency that you don't really feel the need to go buy your own. Um, we'll see what happens you know, after another five hours or another ten hours. Um, but they're... There are moments where you'll go to build some furniture or something. They'll be like, oh, you have to wait four hours, which mm. I, I fucking hate that. I, I always fucking hate that. So I want you, to, mobile, I want you to, gamified. <laughs> yeah. I want you to come back in five hours because I've actually heard about the next step of that for you. Okay. But also so, what I've heard is that Animal Crossing historically, you do stuff like once a day and behind the scenes, there was an hour ticker. And now yes. with this, what they've essentially done, it's like going to Chuck E. Cheese's and seeing the skin taken off the animatronics. It's the same thing. It just looks ugly now when uh, it actually tells you the hours it takes. Yeah. Yeah, there, there is that. Um, Animal Crossing, from its inception, is designed to be a lifestyle game. And now that it's on mobile, it can actually be a lifestyle game. I'm interested. Uh, they've already got a holiday event going on. Um, I don't dislike the game. There are weird things that will take uh, way more time like in menus than it really should, uh, like selling off excess items or going to somebody's town, which, by the way, is so much better than it has been in any other previous version of Animal Crossing. Like on the GameCube, it started with actually getting your friend's memory card so you could visit their, their city. Right. Um, it's, it's good. I like it. I enjoy it. I'm probably not going to spend any money in it. Um, and it's, uh, it's a nice chill game to play. Animal Crossing has never been, you know, try hard, win all the things, uh, get the high scores. It's always just been just, you know, fuck around in the world, man. Just chill out. Um, so yeah, but that's about all I have played this week. Nice. Yeah. And I yeah. think we have a little bit of news to go over. At least. Just a bit. Just a bit. All right. So. Let's hit the headlines. Um, speaking of Animal Crossing, uh, some people have been doing uh, Animal Crossing Prison Camp um, instead of Pocket Camp, uh, where they will basically, you can, you can make uh, fences. They will fence in their animals, um, or they will put items in the world that the animals will interact with, like lamps, and they will just fill their campsite with fucking lamps. So you go there, and there's like 20 fucking animals lined up turning on and off lamps randomly. It is oh my God. <laughs> seriously fucked up. Um, or, or like I saw one where this person had surrounded a jail cell where they put somebody, um, and surrounded the jail cell with lamps. So now you've got a bunch of animals looking at one in the middle in this cage, turning on and off lamps in their direction. Oh my God. <laughs> Fucked up shit. Uh, Super Mario <laughs> cereal is back. I haven't tried it, but I will. Super and I will report Mario. back. I don't Walker. remember Super Mario nope. cereal. Back when it's... I was a kid, man. And there was Zelda cereal when, too. When was that out? Uh, I will have to look. Nineteen sixty-five. No, <laughs> it was it was sometime in the. Sometime in the I say, Do you guys remember Pop Tart cereal? Uh uh Yeah, no. yeah. It was dude. literally just little miniature Pop Tarts. That it was ridiculous. <laughs> it was the worst aren't idea. Good. The best part about okay. Pop Tarts really is yeah. no. The best thing about Pop Tarts is the inside stuff. So if you limit it down to almost all edges, that's where the garbage is. <laughs> I mean, just no, think I about kinda, when you I eat like a part. I hate the edges unless you toast it. Toasted the edges are actually, okay. Yeah, I like the top part. I don't. That's my favorite. The glaze. I'm the, the weirdo. That likes the, I like the ones that don't have that on the top. Really? J just I love the filling. That. Yeah, just the filling. Like I don't a, know. I don't know why. Like a toaster okay. strudel. Great oh, taste. I don't, no, I don't no, like toaster strudels, strudels are... that much. What? <laughs> I don't like them that much. Oh my god, that is like the. Pop tart done the best possible way, dude. I don't. I don't like. <laughs> I actually like pop tarts more than toaster strudels. I, I agree with Adam. Here. <laughs> That's blasphemy. But <laughs> you guys are terribly wrong. <laughs> yeah, they got too much. They got too much filling in them, and it's gooey. And 
So you just like the edges. Like so that's why bat. he likes the edges. He doesn't yeah. like, you know, flavor in actual texture. He oh, likes whatever. hard crunch <laughs> with doll dough. You, you know what? You know what the whatever. best innovation and in breakfast pastry would be? Bre- breakfast pocket pastry. Edge to edge icing. I don't want that crust shit, man. Get that shit out of here. Edge it's just, to edge icing. On yeah, the it's called it's called icing. You could just buy it and just drink it. <laughs> I should, yeah, I should I get like a fucking icing. tub of icing and eat one every day. I'm yeah. on the I'm on the Gorn workout plan now, man. I can eat whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> yes, uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm just not gonna live long you're enough. Sitting anyway. there, you're just sitting there like just, just scooping chill. icing into your mouth with like a like a broken fork like, or something like, like right next to his water that he drinks between rounds he has like yeah. a betty crocker thing of icing with the tablespoon in it it's like drink a water <laughs> yes. spoon of icing i actually do that with peanut butter sometimes i'll just take like a well that's totally, that's, well, that's totally that's totally it's, it's protein yeah. man you gotta get those gains bro yeah, yeah but you know wow. sometimes sometimes you need that glucose dude you gotta get the <laughs> glucose going <laughs> okay, you need quick. glucose to think man get that <laughs> quick one way. word favorite pop tart yeah. Adam. Oh, crap. I'm torn. Crap is not a flavor. Uh, Dude, brown sugar cinnamon. Okay. Josh. Actually, wow. apple cinnamon. Wildberry Pop-Tart. Um, it's, like the, it's like the White Ranger of Pop-Tarts. Uh, for me, <laughs> I'm going to do like the chocolate on chocolate one with the white sprinkles on top. Am I Ooh, the only s'mores. s'more guy here? Is that the s'mores? Is that, that was torn, that was like torn s'mores. between s'mores and one of the cinnamon ones. S'mores are great. S'mores are super sweet, but I love it. I, I have a this is what you guys like. The, this is this is what happens. Though. This is what happens when we we, we have food as a news topic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. All right, yeah. never again. We are banning okay. we are banning food from the news. I think we no. should. I think we, we, we should, should embrace food our food everywhere ness. possible. <laughs> yeah, we should be. Ha- we should have a lot more. How many video topics? game podcasts talk about food most of the time? Uh, <laughs> most of orange, the time. <laughs> orange Lounge Radio. <laughs> All right, I, I don't know. I like the I like that dynamic. We got we got like a double podcast going on. Oh, yeah. I like two that. for one. <laughs> We're getting a lot of brown sugar in chat. You guys are wrong. Yeah, You're wrong. 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 you can't wrong. argue that that's not a solid choice. No, no, it's good. oh, it's amazing. It's, good. it's a rock solid choice. It's, I mean, as it's long top as you don't tier go, pop like, Second don't favorite strawberry. It's top tier strawberries. Like, yeah, strawberries it's, all right. Strawberries I, pretty good. Brown sugar is definitely S rank. Pop tart for sure. Yeah. Like, oh yeah. But it doesn't doesn't get that double. Right, what's your what's your what's your D rank pop tart? That's a that's a really good question. Uh, the fucking adult pop tarts without any goddamn hate, icing. Fuck. That's what the, I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I hate saying the too. hot fudge Sunday ones. Oh, oh those yeah, are bad. Yeah. D rank for sure. No, 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 those are good. They're just super sweet <laughs> I hate though. Those things. You have to They're be in the too mood sweet. for it. That's why I don't Way like too it. Too sweet. That's why I don't like it. Bobby in the chat with a good number two cookies and cream. Yeah, this is right. A plus cream. rank for cookies and cream. I, I'd A plus the cookies right. and cream. I would. I agree. All right. So, <laughs> anyway, moving right. on from the Pop Tars. Um, <laughs> EA has put out a public beta of their UFC 3 game. Um, so, the people who tried this out actually said, Holy shit, uh, when you spend a thousand in game fake dollars, you can just go into the game and steamroll fucking everyone else. So, it is literally a pay to win game uh, in at least one of the modes that they will be releasing. So, EA. Yes. Um, in other news, PUBG Studios' new game is a steampunk MMO. So, Neat. I guess we'll see more on that later. Just uh, quick and now thing got... on that. Yes, hundred people. They have server issues. How are they doing in MMO? That's it. Yeah, that's Mike a really it. good Mike drop. Right. Good point. <laughs> really good point. Rats. I didn't think about go. that, but yeah, it, the, destroyed. the video I watched on that game looked crazy. Like there was mechanical stuff and dragons and. People with swords and planes and stuff. It looked crazy. It looked like there was a lot to it. I'm uh, so I know this is one of our headline topics, and we didn't want to dive too deep into this. But so PUBG is one game, right? And granted, Player yeah. Unknown has had a lot of experience making battle royale games, but an MMO is a totally different beast. Um, oh, yeah. And on top of that, like an MMO is the hardest game to create, right? There are so many mm-hmm. balance issues. You have to have a fucking economist on staff to make sure that you don't right. fuck over your player base. Like, it's really fucking hard. I don't think PUBG Studios is up for this level of challenge. I'm going to be interested to see what they put out, but I'm not holding out hope. I just, yeah. I just feel like there's so much outcry to fix PUBG. 
Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, so many, that, yeah. Yeah. I, they yeah. might be shooting their, themselves. Finish your one that. game first and do MMO it right. MMO is a very, it's not a crowded market, but the market mm-hmm. is very dense. I mean, you have heavy hitters like your Destinies, your WoWs, your Guild Wars, even your RuneScape still. I mean, it's hard to crack into that. Yeah, we'll see. We'll, we'll definitely see where that goes. Because, I mean, Did people you just like name drop like, RuneScape again. Dude, we had we had someone in the Discord playing that the other night. Just saying. That is true. I did see that. Yes. Uh were they trimming armor? <laughs> Fuck off. They're looking for a girlfriend. But no, even even Bungie gets the MMO <laughs> shit wrong though. I mean Bungie can't even get it right whenever they're fucking with their experience and their players. And I yep. love Bungie. So, yeah. But they, they have vowed. They have vowed to fix their communication issues, to fix their XP issues, and to fix a bunch of the issues around destiny 2 now who's to say whether or not this will actually happen but so far they have said uh, they actually uh, they had a live stream um ready to go out for one of the new expansions going to show off a bunch of gameplay they canceled that and instead had a live stream with developers saying guys we're fucking up we get it we admit it um we're, we're going to make this better. Uh, so players and, seem kind of lukewarm to their response well, i think what helps is what they were doing isn't something that's unheard of to say under the hood, what they were doing is common practice. What they were doing is saying that, hey, when you redo a certain quest, we're going to give you less experience. Or when you're grinding on these things, we'll give you less experience because you've already done it. However, they were showing you 100 experience and giving you 50. Yeah. Yeah. If, right. if they were that's, fucking transparent about yeah, this, right? Like, that's hey, you've repeated an line. event. You're, you're going to get less XP and said, hey, you get 10 XP out of 100 because you did this 27 times already. Everyone's right. okay with that, right? Yeah. Every MMO does the same exact shit. And that's totally fine. It's an accepted practice. You don't want people just grinding your, your content out like that. Um, you just have to but be. But I, I agree with you. Yeah. You just have to be fucking transparent and say, hey, this is the way the game is built. This is what we're doing with it. You don't even have to outwardly right. say you get less experience. Just don't tell yeah. me I'm getting normal experience. Exactly. <laughs> right. <laughs> like I Siege, Siege did this. It's fine. There's uh, situations you can play through. It's basically, you know, missions to help people learn the game. And each time you play through one, you get 200 renown. And then the second time you play through one of them, I, I did one on like normal difficulty. Uh, 200 renown. I did the same one on like the hardest difficulty, which is supposed to give like double XP or something like that. I got like 10 or 15. Uh, what you're telling me is do the hardest difficulty from the start. I uh, maybe uh, yeah. even still, I don't, man. Know. I don't know how that like, works. I don't. I don't want a game that's going to waste my time, right? Well, I mean, well, it's it gives you too much currency to allow you to just keep doing it. Yeah, and that's yeah. not that's different. That's different than just playing an offline mode. Those are more tutorial ish. I mean, I'd rather have it go but... in the inverse though. Like early on, give me little bits. Later on, give me more, and then just make the higher end stuff cost more. Like I'd rather do that because well, then it all evens out in the end. But there's no higher end stuff. I mean, it's all the same from go. There is no level curve or anything. It's just literally the market's open. Get what the fuck you want. And yeah, no, for the that's most what part, I know. Everything's the same price. Yeah, right. No, I understand. For year twos and ones, but yeah. So we'll see what happens with that. Uh, speaking of PUBG earlier, um, I guess Player Unknown's Battlegrounds is coming to mobile. Okay, can it's I get another weird. one liner again? I don't you? understand. So, yeah, so the, I, I, I think I that I, I think the reason they did this is because some random uh like i think japanese company something like china. that chinese it's china tencent. okay a chinese company like, yeah they, they made one and they and they they just look like they just copied all it that, that. and oh all there are so many carbon copies of PUBG on mobile um and i i watched a few videos of them when i heard about it and holy shit they're fucking carbon copies <laughs> yeah. um, so, can i give another one liner on them real quick yeah it doesn't do run it. well on a lot of computers how the fuck are they going to do it on a mobile phone, on phone? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Easy, exactly. strip it down to like literally nothing. Like it's already stripped down to small. nothing, man. It's it's not exactly a beautiful game by any means. It That's a good like point. Super but advanced it's, physics. It it's a okay. fucking shooter. Yeah. It doesn't it look just, bad. It's it's. Okay. I don't know how they're gonna. The one thing I don't know how they're gonna give the player to player interaction at yeah. that level because I've never seen. I, I haven't really seen a lot of multiplayer games work at all on mobile. 
like yeah, at there's all. Always <laughs> like, yeah, like always even just like lagging. a one v one. I had one that was an air hockey one, and like both oh, players touched the same screen, and yeah. it didn't work. Like, yeah. it was like yeah. there was no other phone involved. <laughs> and so, if the servers for the PC version have so much desync and lag issues, how are they going to fix that for the mobile networks? It's crazy. Yeah, I don't know yeah. what they're doing. It, it feels like they're, <laughs> like there's one thing I'll say about this: they're involved with Tencent now, and I guarantee Tencent's going to be helping with the mobile. Yeah, I guess yeah, so. Well, yeah. well, no, no, that that is part of the story. Tencent is helping them bring this to mobile. They are a partner in doing this thing. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I don't think I, don't know. I, like, I honestly why? think I think. Um, PUBG Studios and, and the people behind Battlegrounds got way too popular, way too fast, and they have no idea what they're doing. Now, I could totally be proven wrong in this, but it just looks like uh, you know, hyper growth in any company or in any game studio leads to really shitty business practices because they have no idea what to do with a bazillion dollars. Right? Yeah. Oh, oh my god, we're gonna make mobile games now. Wait, no, now, now, we're gonna make a fucking MMO. It's gonna be great. We're gonna do an MMO and a mobile game and do a socialist values version of Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, which who the fuck knows what that means? Right. I, it just doesn't, like, honestly, the whole thing doesn't make any sense. I don't know why you wouldn't focus on what you have and try to make it better. It's like, it almost feels like, like, like the big updates, like vaulting. We were promised vaulting, like, a long time ago, and for some reason, that didn't get ironed out enough. Like that didn't get ironed out enough to to go into like the latest updates. It's still not even out of beta. It's still it's not full released yet. They released they're gonna release that with one oh though, which is coming in a couple Right. Of weeks. No, I know that's kind of my point, is like they haven't even released the game yet. Like, why are you branching out into these other like like let's do an MMO? Let's do, you know, let's do a mobile version. Like it's one of those things that uh it's like like somebody kind of randomly jumped in there and said, "Hey, I got an idea. All right, let's do Rick's idea next." Like, yeah, <laughs> like the UPS guy had a cool idea. And they're just gonna do it. Yeah, it's, it's just, yeah. The I don't only know. thing I can it's, say is they've got enough money coming in to where they may not necessarily when they it's coming from them. They've probably been able to add enough headcount where people going to the MMO didn't even touch the PUBG initially. Yeah, but I mean, allocate your resources, man. Like, you don't like want too many it, hands on working in the viable. same code base. That can I mean, make, that, that makes make things a lot worse. I guess so. I guess so. It it just I don't know. It just seems strange. I, I still I still feel like even putting more people on the base game would be more reasonable than going and making a mobile game that everyone will hate. I I agree. Hence, it'll, like, it'll the, be interesting. What, yeah. what comes of this? I don't have that, but, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't either. Um, in other news, um, a teenager spent uh, 10K, $10,000 on microtransactions and actually wrote a really nice article over on Kotaku that Gama Sutra then later covered um, about the risks of this style of uh, monetization. Um, I, I read the article. I really liked the article. It didn't come off. I, I heard the headline, right? I'm just like, oh, fuck. Here's somebody who just blew a whole shit ton of money because they're a spoiled brat and had no idea what the consequences would be. And that's not it at all. Um, mm. This person spent a shit ton of money and they said, hey, I get it. I'm at fault. I spent all this money on things that totally don't matter. It's, it's uh, an addictive way to market to players. And I'm totally at risk for this style of microtransaction and spending way too much money. Um, and just wanted to put a note out to all developers saying, hey, if if you put out a monetization model like this, just be wary that people with addictive personalities like myself who have no self-control will fuck themselves up with this. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's true. The key point being self-control. Yeah. Um, it's, it's not their fault, but if you're susceptible to being influenced in that way, maybe you should be careful. <laughs> <laughs> you, should yeah. be, you should be careful. And the article actually discusses about how he told some of his friends, hey, I can't play this game with you because of the way it's designed. He's right. actually yeah. done those steps where he's removed himself from certain games because of the predatory nature of those games. Yeah, he, he won't play Overwatch anymore because it has the ability to buy loot boxes and he feels the undying need to spend all of his money on loot boxes. The $10,000 was split between Blizzard or Battle.net, sorry. Um, Steam and Google Play, 
ten thousand dollars to those three sources yeah Ooh. yeah so this is it's interesting we'll have to see what happens with this especially with um the eu taking a hard look at this um yeah uh, in other news, I know uh, Adam and Josh had some things to say about the brand new Rocket League Velocity crates that will start on December 4th. Yeah, let's segue yes. from addictive personalities uh, <laughs> into exactly. more creative. Into the new loot crates. Yeah, yeah, we like, really like these crates, crates, so crates. it's all good. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah we like this these. Company these they're they're, they're at least all bad. pretty much cosmetic. Well, it's, <laughs> it's still a random draw. But... Yeah, it's still a random draw. <laughs> It's but, uh, similar. It's very similar. It's very uh, like '80s outrun themed. So, and that works so well with Rocket League anyway. So we've got this. Uh, there's a car in there. I can't remember the name of the car, um, but it looks like oh, an it's old the '80s like exotic sports car, like an old Lamborghini or something. Yeah, it reminds me a lot of um, of the DeLorean in a way. Sort like of. Without that's kind of what hat. I'm getting but, from it. Like, right, exactly. It kind of feels, it kind of looks and feels like a, like a hatchback racer thing. It's it's the Dominus Hitbox, which our our good friend yeah. RS and you, Adam. Yeah. Oh, and Eric. <laughs> Eric's been running Dom too. Jeez. But no, Adam's a Batman. He's a Batman right now. So the batter now. <laughs> I'm not saying. That but I think he may. I think he may switch for, uh, <laughs> for this. Yeah, but uh, yeah, the weird thing that I noticed <laughs> on this is. They have the, it looks like the Takumis on the R, Takumi RXTs in the picture. So I wonder if this oh. one's going to uh, bring the Takumi back uh, in that say, in the, um, in this crate. It'd be I'm interesting. I'm going to be upset if they do that. Outside of player's choice, I'm going to be really upset if they introduce new crates with new stuff and then throw old back in with it. I, do, I, I don't care. I don't. I, I would love that stuff. Too. I don't because yeah. I don't want to spend money to get new shit and still get old stuff. You could just not spend money to that. Yes, but this. <laughs> yeah. I want the new car. But we got ten thousand dollars to throw around, man. And yeah, rather dude, than actually do the honest stuff. thing and make the car purchasable upright, you have to yeah, gamble I, all these keys to get it. I, I think the I, car should be purchasable. I do I, wish they would do that with the cars. And it's not that the cars don't give you any advantage. So it's still a cosmetic item. You have the exact same hitbox and stuff on a different car. But I still wish that this is the cars. Yeah. Were just, you could just buy one. I, I wish you could just buy the unpainted version. Yes. That's yes, because yes, there's yes. an other. So if for people that don't know, like there's a ton of customization in Rocket League. One of them is the actual car model itself can be painted and that's like a super rare, right? Yeah. My have like um, a trim around it. That's whatever. And actually the got. one in one of the pictures right. looks like it's painted potentially. Yeah. Right. So, um, so that's it. Like the, it just has like a trim that's painted and, and that's what you should, that's what you get in Loot Creek potentially, but, or you can get the regular one. I think just having the painted ones and maybe a regular one in that, but have the plane purchasable, that's mm. fine. That that needs to happen. People need to want those, right? Like, yeah. I don't know. It's just kind of a pain. I, I just want to jump in and play with the new car and see if I yes. like it. That's why but, I didn't get a Manus until a few months because I really wanted to play with a Manus. But yeah. I don't like the idea of getting sucked into buying all these keys to try to get one. Yeah, you can just wait. Like what we yeah, if you typically wait a little bit, do. You can, that's what, we what typically I do. Yeah, if you wait, you'll get it for dirt cheap, especially if it's not like a mainstream. Like if if, if like the pros don't automatically flock to it, it'll be cheap within like a week. And this is coming from <laughs> yeah. me who I necessarily, I still buy keys and stuff. It's just, I don't want a car behind that wall is my only thing. Yeah, I understand. Because especially I mean, this car, I like the way this car looks. <laughs> Yeah, it does. It looks cool. <laughs> yeah, now we just gotta wait for it to see the backside of it. <laughs> it's gonna be flat. Yeah, yeah it's uh, well. Yeah. I hope it's something good. I hope it has dual That's, exhaust. Oh my god! Yes. If it has dual exhaust, I'll lose my Yeah, mind. I have a big problem with all the Rocket League cars that come out lately it's like the front looks awesome and then the back end looks stupid and i hate it and that's the part that you look at the whole time you're playing <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah it's cool it looks like they I, I just i hope they recycle some things especially because you know the takumi rx2 like when you when you get that car you get the engine sounds along with it and yeah. some people can't get like the people that, for the nintendo switch they can't get the takumi rxt they can't get the Ro roadhog xl they don't have that option because those crates didn't exist and they yeah. can't trade with other people 
So they have to get them somehow and they have to get cycled in and they'll never, ever in a million years be in a player's choice. Great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. The Roadhog XL. Fuck no. Yeah, so that's kind of my point. Like, and keep in mind, the last player's choice crate was updated without players having any choice. Yeah, I thought yeah. that was kind of weird. I thought that was yeah. really weird. Defeated so the whole w- purpose of the crate. Right. So just keep <laughs> keep both of those things in mind. I still think they should recycle it, especially the wheels, because I'm getting super tired of completing this collection and not <laughs> and having it get further and further away every time they release a new crate. <laughs> I'll get you some old crates. I got some. Anyway, um, I think that's pretty much enough for that one. Uh, there yeah, is yeah. another Is it, is it though? Wait, Tom, did you have any input? I'm just kidding. Um, Scarab is the best car. There you go. He's right. Okay. But there was some hot, hot news that I was actually the biggest one for me this week was um, yeah. Epic is suing a 14-year-old. Yep. Oh, man. <sighs> yep. You so, heard it. So... Epic, here's, here's, a big ass yeah. AAA company suing a 14 year old. You want the details, Tom? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. So uh, this kid made a video showing how to use some popular Fortnite Battle Royale streaming software, linking it to the game, uh, and shows people how to essentially cheat in the online game. So Epic went through the subpoena process, got all of his information, and decided to sue this kid uh, very, very publicly. Um, Bad bad news uh, that Epic didn't understand is that uh, when you sue a minor, there are certain uh, child protection laws that you will fuck up if you mention their name publicly instead of calling them yeah. the defendant. Uh, so they posted this minor's name in a publicly available document uh, about you know with lawsuit details, um, and now they are running afoul of child protection laws in that state. Moreover, you cannot hold a minor responsible for uh, a contractual agreement because they're a minor. They cannot agree to a contract. So by saying, mm-hmm. I agree on everything in your game uh, or, or your, your EULA, it's actually not legally binding. So the mom knows this and she's going on a fucking tear. She is going to counter sue. <laughs> and I wouldn't be surprised if Epic settled for a whole shit ton of money and swept this thing under the rug because they fucked up hard. Yeah, yeah, they, I, have I, I, they have to know. Yeah, this is going to end up with Epic saying, "Kid, take these down. Mother, here's a couple million dollars. Let's act like this never happened." Right. That would be nice. <laughs> that'd, be good, that'd be a good move for Epic because I feel like there'd there'd be quite the shit show that would uh, well, unfold like, after that. I think I was talking to Josh about this. The sports radio show I listened to was talking about this sports radio my sports radio <laughs> show was talking about this 14 year old getting sued by epic fucking nuts yeah, that is yeah this is so this is fucking ridiculous so from what i remember they initially just sent him a dmca notice right and then he contested it and then they sued him is that how that played out uh you know i do not know i don't know if he I'm contested not, it or I not but i know that the he got a dmca and he didn't take it down that's all I can I know for sure. If no, that's that's not what happens. In on YouTube, when you get a DMCA notice, your video is made unavailable instantaneously. Doesn't matter what the reason is for it, doesn't matter who does it. Oh, okay. You can take someone's video down by issuing a DMCA notice instantaneously on YouTube. There have actually been people uh fucking with big YouTube people that rely on video views and ads for their fucking job. It's how they make money. Uh mm-hmm. fucking with their income by taking down their videos with DMCA notices. YouTube is actually a really shit place for content creators. Um, so I, I want to point something out, that the movie industry and the records industry, the music industry, right? MPAA and RIAA learned their lesson a long time ago. You don't sue the end user. You never sue the end user because mm-hmm. it doesn't stop the problem and it makes you look like fucking pricks because they are. Yeah, um, yeah. Epic should go after these sites hosting the cheats, right? If they go like the like Bob Super Cheat Site, and there's a Fortnite <laughs> cheat list there, right? Send Bob a DMCA notice. Send whatever his website website host is a DMCA notice and say, hey, take this down, or we're going to have to sue you to get this shit removed from the internet. That's the legal way to do this. You go after the dealers. You don't go after the users. But apparently Epic is run by fucking idiots. I, yeah. I don't know how else to put it. it I don't know what the not move a hard was. problem. Yeah, I don't know what 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 made them decide that, that was the right action to do, but 
I don't know. I'm assuming yeah. we're not going to hear a lot. I, what I'm guessing is we're not going to hear much about it. I'm assuming that, that someone caught that and was like, oh, you guys fucked up. This is what we're going to do. We're going to settle this. It's going away. It's going away right now. And they moved on. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm guessing. <clears throat> I, yeah. I, I mean, I haven't heard anything about it since then. Doesn't mean that, you know, there hasn't been a lot about it. Uh, but I'm guessing they're just going to settle it and it'll be it'll be done. Yeah, <clears throat> especially with them growing in such popularity, they don't need this kind of this kind of bad. Uh, yeah, Fortnite's going really about. well. That's uh, it's not good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm sure. I'm sure everything's fine now. <laughs> yeah. So so we'll we'll tell you about any updates if uh, if we get them. I think this whole thing is going to get settled and swept under the rug. I agree. <laughs> and we have one more bit of news. Um, and this is actually something I know will, well, doesn't really affect Adam, but Soma is going to have a new update called Safe Mode. I said it doesn't affect Adam because Adam is a man. It does affect <laughs> Adam Love because that I'm game. probably going to play through it again on the Safe Mode just to check it out. But anyway, talk but, about this, Adam. Yeah, so, Soma is one of my favorite games ever. And um, one of the, the main complaints that people had about the game is they thought that the monster encounters field, uh, or felt um kind of tiresome like you know this game has this really excellent story and they felt that some of the monster encounters the stealth segments stuff like that just kind of took you out of the experience a little bit um Hmm. i didn't personally have a problem with it but i could definitely see where people would be turned off by that i mean soma is not like the first amnesia game they put out it is very story focused amnesia was hey this is a horror game and we're going to do horror things and there's a story but it doesn't really matter that much this is we have this really deep thoughtful sci-fi existential ident whatever story and it's also a horror game and you're going to have to deal with these monsters and some of those situations are kind of frustrating because it's kind of difficult in parts so safe mode actually spawned from a mod people made a mod called wuss mode so that people could just play through the game and they don't have to worry about any of the monster encounters and what it did was basically just made your guy invincible so so i think some of the monsters either just like completely ignore you altogether like you're not there or they would just be like standing there and some of the monsters might like run after you and attack you, but it didn't do any damage or something. That sounds so, awesome. <laughs> yeah, but they they responded to this. Uh, the developers did Frictional Games. They said, okay, how about we make a safe mode and we do it in a way that kind of makes sense in the world. So you're not actually in any danger. There's no fail state. There's no death. But the the monsters are still going to react to you. You know, if you get too close, they're going to be aggressive. And they've actually, you know, redid the AI of all the monsters to make sense, to make it kind of believable, and to not mm. make the game feel like a crappy mod, to make it actually work within the game. So people can experience the story without having to deal with the monsters. And it, it it's still going to be scary. I mean, yeah, the, that was that was my question. A big part of the horror in this game is just conceptually what's happening the the world itself and everything that is implied within that it's not necessarily just boo scary monsters here you know you're under a bunch of threat right so i i think it's really cool i'm i'm looking forward to checking this out i'll probably play through the game again on this mode just to see what they did with it and because i want to experience that story again because it's excellent yeah i've never i've never played through soma i don't really finish a lot of horror games <laughs> mm-hmm. but this one i really want to try out so i might i might play it through it on wuss mode <laughs> yeah. but i i might be too wussy for wuss mode. <laughs> <laughs> i mean you could give it a shot it's the story is good enough i think if you can manage to power through it i think it would be worth it it's pretty dark though okay yeah i've never even touched Soma and uh, Amnesia, any of that. I'm I'm gonna have to play through Soma because I I kept running into an enemy that kept killing me and I just gave up on the game. So I'm gonna yeah. have to. See, this is exactly mode. what this is for. Is yeah. If you get frustrated by those encounters, even if it's not scary, if you just it's if it's difficult and annoying, you know. It is true. With. It is true. Like once, like if you hit a wall like that in a horror game where you actually have to go back and you and you're dying to something like every time you die in a horror game it's instantly less scary that's yeah that's how yeah. it works they, they, made, like, they made that point in the article too yeah because that's oh. i mean that's really what takes me out of it is like 
I usually do fine, but like I'm always like hiding and cowering and screaming. But I don't <laughs> usually die. But when I die, and I'm like, oh, it's fine. And then I I can get through that section no problem. <laughs> yeah. Dark Souls asks, so the new mode takes out the monsters and basically makes it a walking sim. No, the monsters are still in there, and they kind of react to you, but they just can't kill you. Um, I'm not sure exactly specifically based on how some of those monsters encounters go but um there's still some puzzle elements to the game um i wouldn't call it necessarily a walking simulator but it would definitely be more in that regard i don't know it depends on how they handle the encounters yeah because i mean that would be kind of weird if something charges you and it can't kill you yeah, I don't know if like, they like, might stand there like yelling at you or <laughs> what, It's kind of like works. what you used to be able to do in Halo with the Flood. You shoot off their arms and they just run against you and just keep running against you until you yeah. just leave them. I, I <laughs> and it's not a big spoiler, but if there are any chase sequences in the game, maybe there is. I don't know how that works with this, but that's kind of why I'm going to play through it again. <sighs> Let's know if it actually affects some of that other stuff gameplay-wise. Obviously, mm-hmm. you won't die, but I mean, other yeah. nature. Maybe I'll it. stream some of it if there's any interest. Like, yeah, that'd never, be great. I've never seen that'd a second awesome. of Soma. Oh, man. It's good. But with that, I think that's all the news we have. Yeah, um, I so think that's it. This quick mm-hmm. reminder also stay tuned. Going to be bringing the stream back up after it's concluded very quickly and be jumping right into Jackbox. So. Let's give us a rundown real quick. Um, so for those of you watching tonight, thank you very much. But we also have some YouTube content at, on our um, page. A lot of the old shows, some of the other content we've made, the Kerbal, the Dark Souls, all sorts of different stuff. Go to YouTube at 72 Pin Connector and go find that stuff. If you're over there, you should also probably come to our Twitch page live every Saturday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and jump in the chat and be part of the conversation with us live during the podcast. If you think our topics suck, that we're boring as hell, that we need to talk about other crap, or you just ain't getting your recent fix at Dark Souls, you should tweet at us at, <laughs> at 72 PC Podcast and just let us know what you're thinking about what we're doing. If you love to listen to podcasts on the go, you can grab your RSS feeds from 72pinconnector.com, as well as find links to all other avenues that we display content. And if you're a normal person, you can also find us on Twitter, um, Google Play, iTunes, any other podcast distributing app you want. Pocket Cast, Stitcher. Yes, all of them. All we the are stuff. well-rounded individuals here. And finally, if you'd like a very long response to us, you could always email us at fanmail at 72pinconnector.com and write us a novel about how amazing this podcast is for you. Amazing. (laughs) And Adam, I think we had a couple updates through the podcast itself, correct? Or a couple call-outs, I should say. Yeah, we have a Um, call-out. Whoops. Thank you to our good friend. Uh, villain guy aka bird for subscribing five months in a row holy five crap months. whole months that's a lot of time that is a lot of time thank you man <laughs> bird yeah, is we, our we really bird appreciate it. He's, best bird. <laughs> he's best bird our bird best bird, best bird. <laughs> <laughs> and with that everyone i think that's really all we got for you guys this week so stay tuned catch us in the podcast but until next week, game on. See you, everyone. Bye.